The ruling came mere days after the National Assembly unanimously agreed to release over $2 billion in supplementary funds to pay the remaining sugar workers their severance packages. The government earlier this year paid dismissed workers from the Rose Hall, Skeldon and Enmore Estates half of their severance and promised to pay the remaining monies in the latter half of 2018. But despite this, the workers through the Ghana Agricultural and General Workers Union filed legal action in the High Court. Representing the workers was a former legal affairs minister and attorney general, Anil Nandlal, who said that the victory was a significant one. But significantly, the court ordered that interest be paid to the workers. And that, I believe, is a significant victory because we attempted in the National Assembly on Wednesday night to get the government to agree to pay interest on these sums because these sums, as you know, have been owing for months, in one instance, the real workers, over a year. So the judge ordered that Gaisuku pay interests at a rate of 6% from the date that these severances, severance payments were supposed to be made until today's date, and then 4% from today's date until they are paid. So you have two regimes of interests operating. Gao in its proceedings contended that it is illegal for government to pay the severance in two tranches as this is against the letter and spirit of what is outlined by Section 21 of the Termination of Employment and Severance Pay Act. Meanwhile, Gaisuku's attorney, Nikhil Ramkaran, said that he cannot say when the payments will be issued despite Gaisuku getting the monies. Some 4,000 workers from Enmore, Rosehall and Skeldon were dismissed from their jobs following the downsizing of the sugar industry, which began to take effect in late 2017. They joined another 400 workers from Wales who were sacked in December of 2016. For the Evening News, Lee Bagirat.